Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is History Comics, The American Bison. This is a fascinating graphic novel. Um, I love History Comics from first second. It's a great line of graphic novels that dives into uh, various parts of history, and, and very educational, and I would say great, uh, great ways to learn and get yourself caught up uh, and come out of things feeling pretty, like, on top of whatever the topic is. Um, so this one's about American Bison. Uh, so this graphic novel is by Andy Hirsch. Um, so yeah, I think the I think the first thing that that really catches me about this graphic novel is there was a previous one that was released. I don't remember if it was the one directly before this, but it was a recent one that was about wild horses and um, some of the story about the American wild horse, this American stallion, uh, basically dovetails. It kind of crosses over with the bison and and part of the depletion and uh, destruction of the bison population is because of the stallions. Um, so I think that was really kind of interesting. Um, I, I think it was the last one released, so you know, the, I don't know if it was done on purpose, but doing one and then the other I think was is really, really intelligent. Um, so this is the story about the bison, and it's a story of, of uh, nature, and, and it takes you through just the general cycles of like why the, uh, bison became such a massive uh, uh, I say population in, in North America at one point their, their numbers were about 30 million uh, and was everywhere from you know the south of like around Texas up through Canada and uh, you know it was just it was massive uh, but then you know their numbers started dwindling and the, and the, the question would be why and um, it takes you through everything it takes you through uh, the relationship between uh, the indigenous people of, of, uh, of the lands and, and the relationship with the bison and then how uh, decisions by uh, colonists, by the uh, United States and, and settlers, uh, basically just destroyed the population. Um, and there was a lot of politics that was involved that directly impacted the bison. Um, you know, there was the attitude, if we kill off the bison, we'll force Indians to become civilized. Um, I think that's kind of the one of the statements from here. Uh, and I think it's a it's a really interesting story. It, it's one about um, kind of like short sightedness, one about racism, uh, about colonialism, about um, settlers. It's really really tied into American history. Um, and I, I think what's what's interesting is like how the issue has been tackled. Like there were people in the 1800s who realized that shit was about to hit the fan and that, um, you know, something needed to be done with some of the earliest conservationists. And, you know, they, they did their work, they, they tried and, you know, fell on and uh, people who just didn't care because they saw this as an opportunity to try to uh, work over the, the Native American population. And then, you know, from there, it was it's a really interesting story of, of conservation. You know, you, you had private businesses that kind of did it and, and private herds and the history of them, how they kind of came together and, and um, you know, what kind of, what led to another and all that. And then kind of today's modern conservation um, and even and even, you know, market driven capitalism. It's it's really a fascinating, fascinating story. Um you know, and, and one that, like, you know, at one point it, it looked massive, you know, completely dire and, and just horrible. And, you know, you know, bison are going to die off. But, you know, there's there's been a lot of work, um, not all of it done, you know, for altruistic reasons. But, you know, a lot of work was done and, and brought population back, um, you know, not to the numbers it was. But, you know, they're, they're no longer on the verge of extinction. Um, so that's that's good. Yay. Uh, but yeah, it's a really, really fascinating uh, tale of, of history and, and just kind of taking us through American history. Um, th the good, the bad, everything. A lot of bad. A lot of bad. Uh, and even some Canadian in some way as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is, it's just a, a fascinating, fascinating story. Like I, I loved that it was kind of touched upon in, in the a Stallion book. Um, but the, the fact that, you know, we get more kind of in-depth here is, is fascinating and it also kind of just dives through just the the ecological aspects of it you know why why were the planes so important how did the bison help with that and and some of the the work with that so it's it's really just a fascinating read and, and I really I enjoyed it a lot um the art's interesting there's kind of like a comedic aspect to it I don't know how to quite describe it um, you know it's good it's it's really really good I'm not I'm not knocking the art at all but there's just it's kind of like a light-hearted 
style to it that you know is uh I think kind of helps because there's there's some stuff in here that would probably be really rough if it was done in a different style. Um, you know, a lot of, you know, cutting up bison hides and, and skulls and death and stuff like that. So um, overall, it's it's a very educational graphic novel. I, I like it a lot. And, um, uh, you know, it's just, it's some solid history. And, and it, you know, with all the, like all the other history books, they've got some nice resources for you to, to dive into afterwards if you are interested in learning more. Um, overall, I think history comics, absolutely fantastic. If you are looking to learn on any of the subjects that have been released so far, I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Um, I think they are great places to start to learn and then jump into other uh, other readings and stuff like that. So um, I think the the history comics do do a wonderful job of kind of like that base knowledge um, and a little actually a little bit more than the base knowledge. Um, and they are, I think, just a fantastic. Uh, educational and entertaining uh, way to learn. So go get this out now in comic shops. You can get it and should be bookstores as well. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. Tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that. You help support our site, so thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank for a second for us up with the review copy. We appreciate that, and thank you for watching. Now, if you're into graphic novels, if you're into first second comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.